contacting mother's friends and past students and family. Mother was killed two days ago in a robbery. We're having a service at Rocky Point Beach, 8 a.m. on Sunday. I hope you'll be able to make it. Austin, going this way. been a long time. Been a long time? Yeah. You look good. So do you. Sorry about Mother. I know he meant a lot to you. Yep. Meant a whole lot to all of us. Yeah. Wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the things he taught me. This should be an interesting crowd. Well, it's what you'd expect from a super agent cross-dressing martial arts instructor. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, Father. Amen. Well, let's get started. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for being here. Mother and I shared a lot of early morning walks along this beach. Today, we're placing Mother's remains where he'd want them to be. If there's anybody that would like to share a few words in honor of his memory, now's the time to do it. Anybody? Thank you. Thank you. Mother had a lot of secrets. I was one of them. Mother was my father. Unfortunately, I, I didn't get to meet my father's friends. But I know that all of you we miss his laughter and uh, and his spirit and his fashion sense as much as I will. Te amo, papá. Te amo por siempre. Thank you. Thank you. Into thy hands, my lord, we place the spirit, the body, and the soul. Daniel Maurice Clemens, affectionately known as Mother by his dear friends. Right to be a martial science, it needs principles. What are those principles? Principle objective, principle surprise, principle calculation, principle offensive. Excuse me, Miss Clemens. 
Actually, it's Cruz. Cruz? My name is Nigel Stone. I was a friend of your father's. You know, that's interesting. I thought your name was Neil Shaw. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me? My father told me about you. Here's my number, and if you need anything, anything at all, just give me a call. You know you are the reason why my father is dead? You really think my father died in some random robbery attempt? He died because somebody thought he was a security risk, because he knew every face and every name. I'm not in that business anymore. Good day. Mr. Shaw. How did I ever let you talk me into coming to Afghanistan? Yeah, not a good idea. Put the camera away, right? Sir, this is a hot zone. Hi, hello, I'm Anne. I'm a journalist. Your commanding officer, Captain, um, Captain Mitchell, has given me permission to take photos. He's approved the stills. Look, I have an idea. How about next time, try and report on Las Vegas showgirls, huh? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. Fancy hotels, little chocolates on the pillows, little, little landmines. This is the field. That's a signature model, I think. We're gonna park and call it. We got two options. We can stay here and die, or we can get to that building. You with me? All right, let's what go. What do you think? You don't like the way it's cut? Yeah. What, man? What'd I do? Anne is your VIP. You will stay very close to her side. If necessary, shield her from sight with your body. Okay, that's a wrap for talent. I mean, he wouldn't be a cowboy and protect his primary at the same time, you know? Huh? Always got my back, man. Oh, hey, we got a great idea for the next scene. Excuse me. Let's go. It's Melina. I have something for you. Can you come to the dojo? Right horse stance. Going to your left. Shoulder position, turn. Shoulder position, back fist. Center, turn. Watch your shoulder position. Back fist. Center, center, up.
That knock. I didn't think you would come. I'm really sorry about what I said the other day. I was, I was upset and. You said you had something you wanted to give to me? Yes, the picture, just wait. I was packing up my father's things and I found this and I thought you might like to have it. <laughs> oh, that was a long time ago. Rest in peace. Thank you. Um, do you mind if I look around a little more? Yes, please. Remember these moves if you are challenged. <sighs> A lot of pain in here. I always wished he was around when I was a kid. So where were you? Um, my mother left the country when I was a baby. She didn't even tell me his name until she was on her deathbed. I tracked him down. I was three years ago. He was a great man. Great man. We became very close in those three years. Close enough to reveal secrets that should have remained secret. Are you talking about yourself? Is there more? He taught me to dance. He taught you to dance? He taught me the dance. Maybe you wouldn't mind giving me some demonstration. What, right now? I mean, if you're scared, I can understand. OK. OK? OK. But I have to warn you. I'm a little bit rusty. Well, you don't look rusty to me. I might need a button. Well, I do. Oh, I guess you're leading, huh? Where I come from, men usually lead. Is that so? Call me? Yes. I'll call you. You need more practice.
So you heard I was running for Senate? <laughs> yeah. I did. I saw that when I was in the grocery store waiting in line. No, it's true. <laughs> Seriously, bro, I am getting into politics. Why would you want to do that? You know, politics are where you can make a difference, right? And that is exactly what I want to do. I just got one little problem. Now that is what I believe they call blackmail. Okay. Who are they? And why are they doing it? I don't know. Maybe someone who doesn't want to see me campaign. Look, take my advice. Stick to making movies. Come on, I'm just... I'm asking you to maybe just do a little snooping around. I'm not a detective. Yeah, but you once told me you worked at one of those agencies, right? Can't you make a few phone calls? Come on, man. Okay. I'll look into it. Thank you. Look, Garrett, keep it clean. You're in politics now. Got the order form right here. Okay, thanks. Mr. Garrett, how's your delivery here? Hey, where would you like this here? Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, just throw it in there, it's fine. Oh, sure. Look, Michael, listen to me. You got him by the balls. Just give him a squeeze, for Christ's sake. It's a hundred grand a day or I don't show up. Check on the girls. Okay, fine. Uh, oh. After him? Don't have to. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the crashing of the pins uh, calms me down. Uh-huh. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Thank you. Shaw. What you got for me? I got good stuff. Come on. Come on. Just, uh, join us on the other side, please. Your FBI buddy Becker is involved in this. Becker. Yeah, we knew you would have yeah. that. <laughs> well, that's not good. Dinner is served. Check it out. Cell phone was FBI property. I'm not surprised. Who's he protecting? He'll love this. Senator Carlson, and today's Thursday. Carlson Thursday. Seems like she's on the same hit list as Gary. You know, sent to. No, it's, uh, it's gonna take a bit longer. There's some kind of crazy encryption on the other end. Where'd you get it? Uninvited guest. 
an uninvited guest, huh? Cool, an assassin. No, not cool. Everything cool? Yeah, he's back in. <laughs> I told you. Did you know the Romans, if you hadn't paid your debts, would tie you to a stake and let the lions eat you? No, I can't say that I do, Salas, but I'm sure there's some relevance. General, let me introduce you to the L-900 Battle Rifle. This uses high-velocity uranium-depleted bullets that are perfectly effective on quarter-inch steel. Half-inch steel. Crankcase of a diesel engine. Let's go have a look, see, General. Five years, sixty million dollars. Everything on the line, and we finally have it figured out. Look, General. His debt's been paid. Now, can you imagine what I do to people who don't take my product seriously? The L900 battle rifle has my full support. I knew you'd be impressed. Let me escort you to your car. satellite image of the building. Seconds away. Senator Carlson. Senator Carlson, can you tell us how your senatorial race is proceeding? Shouldn't you be telling me? Got a live video? Coming up on the screen. I'm here to talk about our booming economy and our need for more tax cuts. It's all about the vote, and that's always held in November. Right now, I'm concentrating on winning my Senate seat. They say you can't have tax cuts in a strong military. I say they're wrong. And your business plan? My five-point reduction plan. Save it for the speech, Senator. This way. I have a lot more to say. Good afternoon, Senator. Do you know what you're missing? No. A vote for Carlson. Thank you. It's an honor to meet you, Senator. We have audio. So good to meet you. You have a situation? 
The suitcase unattended, over. Hold it. Ma'am, we have a security threat. What kind? It's an unattended bag. Possible code 996. We should head back to the limo. Okay. Senator, we need to talk. How did you get in here? It's okay, Michelle. He's a friend. Ma'am, I don't think you should do this. Just see to it. We have privacy. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Senator Carlson, we have reasons to believe that there's going to be an attempt on your life. Based on what information? A message was taken off the assassin's cell phone, targeting you. We believe it's credible. There have been blackmail attempts, smear campaigns, the usual crap. And now you're telling me that someone wants to kill me? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Do you have any idea as to who? No, but I have an idea who would know. Congressman Grant Phillips. I voted against his last six arms bills. I'm sure he would know, or someone close to him. Phillips. Phillips. Armed Services Committee. Chairman of. If I was seen to go after Phillips directly, I could kiss my Senate re-election goodbye. Congressman Phillips is having a party tonight. For friends and wealthy supporters. If you're half as good as I hear, you'll manage to poke around his private office while everyone is sipping champagne and kissing ass. So you know who I am? Why else do you think I'm sitting here talking to you? Are you going to be there? Of course. I keep my friends close, but my enemies closer. Sun Tzu. The art of war. His teachings also apply to the art of politics. True, that is. Ma'am, the bomb threat's over. We have to begin. Cancel the speech. What? Just do it. Well, now I see why they have a problem with you. Smart lady. <laughs> Becker. It's Graham. Gotta talk to you. Excuse me. Neil Shaw's alive. Shaw? Last I heard, he was a corpse on the streets of New York. He's been talking to Senator Carlson. Senator Carlson? What the hell is he doing talking to her? I don't know, but she didn't make her speech. This conversation never took place. Stone. Hey, it's Garrett. How's it coming? Tell me what you know about Carlson and Phillips. Well, I can vouch for Carlson. She's got a clean reputation. Congressman Phillips, I know him personally. He doesn't seem the type. What do you mean, the type? Have a blackmail to try to assassinate a colleague? No, Phillips and I have a business arrangement. I'd actually support his policies. Why would they come after me? That's what I'm hoping to find out at the congressman's house tonight. But once I start digging, things could get messy. Oh, believe me, I love messy. Keeps things interesting. Look, I'll see you at the party, right? Hopefully not.
That is good. Good evening. John, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Thank you. Samantha. Frank. It's a wonderful party, as usual. Have you met our local celebrity? Uh, hi, I'm, I'm John Garrett. It's a pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. Sorry, I'll be back in a moment. Sure. I understand you're the new fair-haired boy that's being groomed to step out of Phillips' shadow at the convention. Well, I think Congressman Phillips knows what this country needs, right? I don't think you're coming. Oh, it's a great party. And I heard you were a little uncomfortable with our latest consultation fee, so I figured I'd uh, talk to you face to face. I wasn't about the fee. And it's about your support? Mark, I don't support the bill. I'm not discussing it again. Enjoy the party. Senator Carlson, we haven't officially met. Mr. Salas, I've heard a lot about like our industries. Well, most people have. Our stock price has doubled over the past year, and we're looking at a 25% increase over the next three months. That's very impressive. I understand you have a very successful export business. Well, exports are one thing, but we have been actively trying to go after the domestic military market. Posse have never been caught. Done. We're in. I am scanning as we go. Anything? I'm looking. Okay. Here we go. We got a backup file. Everything, multiple offshore accounts from a Mark Salas and all of Phillips transaction histories. All right, encrypted and forwarded to calls. Okay. Every bid is open for tender. Open, yes, but you see, not to newcomers. Well, as you know, I alone don't have any input into military procurement. No, but if you were to vote in Sorry. favor of the bill. Sorry, excuse me.
Congressman, are you all right? Senator. Phillips is dead. Please explain to me how this operation suddenly became a complete shitstorm. We underestimated Shaw's expertise. So now he's alive and Senator Carlson can't shut up. Wonderful work. We can attach Carlson to Flip's murder at any time. Not until we know what intel Carlson can counter with. For now, Solace wants Shaw eliminated. I'll authorize any support the Bureau can muster. Isn't that a little risky? I'm senior officer. No one will question it. Search every contact, every pole he's banged, every number he's dialed, station agents at all his known locations. If Shaw so much as glances at a surveillance camera or swipes a credit card or calls someone he knows, is dead. You didn't do this shit anymore. So did I. Let me tell you a story. Look, I don't have the time. It's one of those long ones. No, I'll give you the short version. But I was in the same situation one time. I was on my last operation. I was in Cambodia. And I was fighting with some mercenaries when one of the rebel factions decided that ethnic cleansing would be in order, so they hit the village I was staying at. What'd you do? I did the same thing you would have done. I used every trick I'd ever been taught, and I fought for those villagers. I took out 12 killers that day, and I ended up becoming the target. 
But those people, they kept me hidden for weeks. They gave me food. They gave me shelter. They gave me love. And I survived because of that. And the grace of God. And so, uh, yeah. Hello? Neely. Cruz. Look, I know this is crazy. But I think someone is watching me. There's a man in a car outside. Where are you? I'm at the academy. He's coming towards the dojo. Hello? Hello? I need some wheels. You got it. Look, you know you don't have to do this. You know I do. And anything else you need, you let me know. They killed that man. They killed him. You saved my life. I don't understand. Who was he? I don't think he was after you. I think they were after me. Why? It's a long story. But just don't worry about it, okay? You're gonna be okay. Right? Melina? It's okay. How can you keep saying that? It's not okay. I'm going to be wanted for murder. Look, you were in a life and death situation, and you reacted. You did what you had to do. I think it'd be safer if you flew back home. See what I could find on the first flight out, and I'll take you to the airport. Go. 
Could you please stop the car? I think I'm going to be sick. Stolen. Oh, yeah, your alias. Hey, wow, I thought I was having a crazy night. Half the world is looking for you. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Well, what the hell is going on? Somebody tried to set me up for a big fall. Listen, what are the chances this signal is being traced? You haven't ditched your phone yet? Not yet. Well, you're lucky I'm secure, man, because you're holding a hot potato. I'll call you in a couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, give me some of those too, man. Oh, damn. You got any spots? Man. Hey, yo. What up? You got any spots? You're kidding me, right? I'm a little light. Yeah, I'll call you back. Yo, 60 bucks for the ticket, $40 for the restaurant. What, you want, you want my bank account? Why, why you gotta be all that? <laughs> I'm a little light right now. A little light right now. I got it next time, man. Oh, you broke, right? Whatever, bro. Back, I'll get you next time. <laughs> you ever give me the money on me, you know? I change that thing for Bentley. Yo, you got my phone? I ain't got your phone. Don't play with me, man. Where's my phone? Hey, I only got... Hey, yo, check my man over there. Hey, old man, you got my phone? Nah, I'm on. Freaking immigrant. Yo, he's playing you, man. He's the only one out here. Hey, asshole, did you take my phone? Hey! <laughs> you got my phone, man? Oh. 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 Hey, yo, man! going. What? I'm not going. I'm not leaving. I'm not running away. I'm my father's daughter. I can take care of myself. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but clearly I'm the target. And by association, that makes you a target, too. Okay, we got him again. Looks like he's heading north. We have a team already in the vicinity to intercept. Get me Becker. What's going on, man? Traveling in some old van from the Salvation Kitchen. The mayor may not be alone. Get the locals on it. Do you think that Senator Carlson set you up? Maybe. But I need proof. Can you get me her phone records? Yeah, no problem. And Mr. Shaw needs a new identity. Okay, Gina? Hook him up with the works. Works, ID, credit cards? Yes. Wow. You and the senator are pretty chummy. What? It says here that you've called her over 150 times in the last year and a half. I never called Senator Carlson. 
this says that you did, and this stands up in court. Hey, Stone's bank account and credit cards have all been flagged. What did you do? Uh, piss somebody off. Okay. Somebody's trying to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> okay, I see. This makes it look like Carson hired me to kill Phillips. That would cancel both of them out. Is Carson under investigation? Not yet. But she will be. Yep. Who stands to benefit the most from the latest round of military spending votes? Same old. Allie B, GD. Like our industries is supposed to have the biggest experimental division. There's a report on them like every week. <laughs> She's good. She is good. Blogosphere says Lycar is getting funding for top secret sci-fi stuff. Yeah, but Lycar makes most of its profits from R&D, licensing technology to third parties. They're not a big defense supplier. But Lycar Industries' president is Mark Salas. Oh, I might have something. Alex, Han, if he's teamed up with Han, Han's a messiah in the world of geekdom. He founded the Eco Alliance, a team of killer hacktivists. There's no system that can lock him out. How the hell do we get all of them when he works for us? Alex just knows and shows up. Well, if he pays taxes, uses electricity, or has a passport, his location must be in our computer system somewhere. What you think? Find him. Yes, sir. Any report about the shooting? What happened at the academy would be professionally cleaned. No body, no fingerprints, no traces. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, go ahead. When you were an agent, did you kill people? Yes, a few. Is that why you grew apart from my father? Mother was a big fan of the philosopher Sun Tzu. The supreme art of war is the ability to subdue your opponent without fighting. That didn't go very well with my day job. And? My insides got all messed up. So out of respect, I kept my distance. He always thought you were a good person, Nick. Maybe I was. Come on. Come on. Stone. Shaw. Hey, um, okay, I got something. I hacked back into that cell phone you gave me. I'll be there. Becker? We may have a lead to Shaw's location. Let's go. Fucking brilliant. Who are you? This is the friend I was talking about. This is Melina. Look, it's necessary. Okay? I'll tell you about it later. Stan. 
It's okay. We'll go with them. I know. I know. It's cool. Come on. What you got? What do you, what do you got? Okay. So it's possible to hack in and change the phone log. It's child's play. But if someone were to look, it wouldn't match with the antenna synchronized code output. All right. English. Every cell call has a personal imprint from the corresponding antenna. So if it's on your phone bill, it's tagged. So if someone really wanted to cover their tracks, they would hack into the antenna database and insert the right codes. And that's what they did. But every hacker leaves a trail. And that trail leads to a building here in LA. Homeland Security. Yeah. Can you get in? We need a blueprint of the building. Yes. It's like a mini Fort Knox on security steroids. Guards, guns, and cameras 24-7. Motion detectors inside and on the roof. Windows. Lexan and alarmed. Break one and... Ah, any suggestions? Go in as a repairman. You know, you can ignite the chlorofluorocarbons in the air conditioner system, which is mostly chlorine. That way you create a crude form of mustard gas, and then, no, seriously, flood the vents and watch them hurl. That's seriously cool. That's morbid is what it is. Only if you electronically lock the doors so that they suffocate and die a hideously painful death. Actually, Gina, the air conditioner's just been upgraded. Ah, damn it. What about if we bypass the system right over there? Okay, look, I think I have an idea. It's simple. And nobody gets gassed. But I think it'll work. Yeah, I am. Encryption codes are codes that send out seemingly random data packets. Actually, they're in a predetermined sequence. I can program the surveillance satellite to identify code patterns similar to one Alex sold the government. If I eliminate the government users, Alex will surface. And we've got him. How long? Five minutes. You got two. <laughs> what the hell? Disgusting. It's just rats, for God's sakes. Just rats? Is that all? Okay, we got a couple over here in the corner. Security? Yeah, this is Ben. Communication officers. We need pass control officers. Tracking. Get a lock on the address, goddamn it. Shaw's with this little creep I know he is. Okay, I'm in. Okay, it'll be your first right. Locking in. Loft building, upper floor. Bingo, we got him. He's got surveillance cameras inside and out. Tapping into them. We're in. Switching between cameras. Wow, Alex Hahn himself. On your screen. Where's Shaw? Okay, no, turn around, turn around, wrong way, turn around, turn around, turn around. All right, up the stairs. Up the stairs, good. Double doors at the top of the stairs. 
I see them. in the quadrant, five miles away. Audio reception complete and online. Oh, I know you're pretty busy, but when you get a chance, could you give me everything you got on Neil Shaw? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Hey, two fingers. Let's go. Now the rest of you, two fingers. Come on, you know the routine. Now, I want everything you got on Senator Carlson, John Garrett, and Neil Shaw downloaded to that disc. Don't show them anything. That's an order. But maybe this will override that order. You know what this is? You know what this is, right? Seren. 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 See, I'm already dead, so I don't give a shit. And unless you want to join my party, I think you better give me the information I'm asking for. So, what do you think? Good girl. Good. All right, Mitchell Davis with me. Let's go. Move it, move it. Two round back, two round front. All right, you guys take the stairs. Got it. Somebody on the elevator. Standard, who's on point? Oh shit, we've got six agents coming at us. They're totally armed. He's sanitized, sanitized, sanitized! What is that? You ordered a tactical hit on Alex Hahn? Take care of this. Take them all. No. Call it off. Call it off. I can't. Call it off! Alex, get out of there. I'm sorry, he's not in right now. Can I take a message? Shaw. Becca, you just made it to the top of my hit list. Let's go. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on.
eye drops. I'm sorry about your friend. He knew the risk. It's too dangerous to go back to the hotel tonight. Get you some clean sheets, a couple of pillows, and you guys can stay as long as you need. sleep last night? About an hour. He's still sleeping. You know, you can talk to me anytime if you want. Becker tracked Alex Hahn last night. Full tactical assault. No survivors. You weren't there, man. There's nothing you could have done to stop it. I promised him I'd watch his back. I let him down. I think they're going to go after Senator Carlson. Has Carlson got anything on these senators taking bribes? I gave her a file I found on Philip's computer. Maybe she'll use it. According to the morning news, if she's going to take down her colleagues, it's probably going to be tonight. Why is that? There's a big party to be at Roosevelt Hotel. Carlson's going to be center stage. That'd be a good place to kill her. Yeah. Unless you get her out of harm's way. And I'm coming with you. I thought you said you didn't do this shit anymore. But you said you were a man of God. I've always been a man of God. Official business. Excuse me, Senator, but something very important has just come up. 
Shaw is waiting outside. I'm okay. What the hell's going on? He'll tell you. Stay close. I'm fine. Let's go. She's not back in five minutes. Go after her, okay? Graham. The senator just left. I'll get the intel to Becker. Satellite locked in your position. I'll call the troops. They're heading for the river. You get that? Yes, sir. Look good as a blonde. There you go, blondie. Belina, look. Look, I want you to stay in here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Here, no, Neil. take this. Neil. Somebody comes in, you shoot him. Sure. Right, stay in here. Stay in here. That's too big. We can't hit this without proper recall. There's no time. The split in pairs maintain radio contact. Shoot the center on sight. Solace. You were right. Shaw set us up with a decoy. Carlson never left the restaurant. What's your situation? It's salvageable. Well, then kill Shaw and whomever's helping him. Copy that. I've got Carlson covered. Where's the driver? There's no cell phone reception down here. You know what? I'll go back upstairs. It'll just take me a moment. I'll see where he's at. Thank you. Make it quick.
Carlson. I heard you were planning a little speech tonight on corporate bribery. Very good. It's over, Mark. I have Phillips' account numbers, dates, deposits. Like our industries is finished. Reaching the lower level. Why do you have to be so goddamn righteous? All you had to do was take the money and back the bill like everybody else a vote in my favor. No big deal. You've left me with no other choice. You threaten my reputation, my supporters, my business. I learned a very valuable lesson, Samantha. The trick to killing off your enemies is simplicity. Like a heart attack. You know, or a, a brain aneurysm. Losing your touch there, Becker. Where did it all go wrong, huh? Hiding behind a girl, tacky suit. Yeah, just like old times, eh, Stone? Nice name.
I'm fine. It's supper time. I got 63 hot meals I gotta deliver. Stay here with my friend. What? Neil, wait. Where are you going? Let me come with you. Neil. Stay here with him. He could use your beauty. Get this checked out as well. Neil, I'm afraid. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. I have a meeting with Mark Salas. Your name, please? Tell him it's Neil Shaw. I don't see you scheduled. What is this regarding? It's OK. I got it. Sir? Excuse me, sir. Yes, Julie? Mr. Salas, I have a Neil Shaw coming up to see you. I couldn't stop him. No, that's OK. I'll handle it. Yes, sir. You have a miraculous ability at keeping yourself alive, Mr. Shaw. So did you kill Phillips yourself? Or you just ordered a hit? I always deal with my business face to face. Phillips was an exception. Senator Carlson, on the other hand. What happened to her? Oh, didn't you hear? She died of a brain aneurysm. Stress related, I think. That's what this is all about. Sell more guns to the army, earn more money, huh? You really don't get it, do you? It's not about the money. Bullshit. We need people in office who care about defending this country. Well, high up the ladder does it go? The president? I play golf with them. But he knows nothing about how we manage our business. That game is over. You're a dead man, Shaw. Yeah? What's new? Did I hit you? Not yet. Great gun, though.
Been a pawn too long, Shaw. No, Phillips and I have a business arrangement. Why would he come after me? Đêm buồn lặng lẽ một mình tôi Nhìn mưa rơi chợt thấy bôi hồi Thao thức đợi chờ Người xưa đến Có lẽ người ta Chẳng đến rồi Ngậm ngùi nhìn cánh Phượng vĩ rơi too pasty I don't know not if my grandfather could be here now get Marsden up here you guys uh, take five minutes I'll be right back Mr. Stone. Oh, I'm sorry. Or should I say, Neil Shaw. I must say, I'm uh, pretty surprised to see you. Yeah, I bet you are. Are you busy? <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting started. You've been using me as a pawn from the beginning, huh, John? Come on, it's politics. I wanted in the Senate. Salas wanted to take out Phillips and Carlson. You know, I'm just the new guy with a friendly face. That's how you treat your friends? I just chalked them up to uh, collateral damage. All spare in love and politics, right? So that's what mother was. Huh? Mother was collateral damage? Well, you killed him, didn't you? Or did you just pay for it? I'd like you to meet... Susan Marsden. She's my protection, and the only good thing Salas ever did for me. You know, you could have used her back in your spy days. She's probably the best undercover operative I know. <laughs> you played me deep. Nothing personal. Just business. Oh, come on. No hard feelings. She profiled you. Found out what you're favorite little cafe in Italy was, what your favorite food is, even what side of the bed you sleep on. Huh. So why kill mother? Well, he was the only one that really meant anything to you. So you'd clean house, Shaw. Come on, look. You helped me take out Salas and all those senators in his deep pockets. You know, I helped you blow the lid off this whole thing. The vote rigging, the slush funds, the illegal arms deals. Neil, I'm afraid. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm going to be wanted for murder. You did what you had to do. Yeah, you did. It's all gonna break in the papers tomorrow. Now, I'm gonna be voted in because I'm Mr. Hollywood. Coming up the hills, guns blazing. And I owe that all to you. Come on, be 
part of it. Look, man, we, we can work out a deal, right? What are you gonna do now, huh? What are you gonna do? twisted plot of corruption and blackmail, several senators have resigned. At the center of it all is the late light car industry's president, Mark Salas, reportedly responsible for multi-million dollar bribes that were influencing the Senate itself. Salas is currently the new suspect in the murders of Senator Samantha Carlson and Congressman Grant Phillips. The other sensational headline of the day is that Hollywood superstar and Senate hopeful John Garrett has been arrested as the main suspect in the murder of Susan Marsden.